What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be talking about the brand new March of the Goblin uh, event. It returns. This is something that we had in the past in a previous season, which is pretty awesome. The, the return of the treasured goblins is here. This was a pretty positive uh, theme that the devs had reached out with, but it's from August 27th uh, to September 3rd. Third, you're going to seek out hordes of the treasure hoarders uh, to pilfer their loot bags for increased gold and coveted drops. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to actually farm these in the season if you're interested in it. It looks like the treasure bag's got a nice little overhaul. So coming down, there's going to be a great way to farm these. You could do this with the world boss. If you get avarice, um, you know, staggering him will spawn these uh, goblins. And it looks like you can get way more. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's like 15 goblins in his picture. So if you get the world boss and it is avarice, I definitely highly suggest that you go fight him. Um, remember you do have to stagger him to actually spawn the goblins, but that shouldn't be too hard with all the builds going around in season five. Uh, next is you can do these in the open world. Uh, you could do these in the hell tides is a very strong way to get these goblins and spawn them. It is double spawns now of goblins. So there is a crap ton of loot that is going to spawn from these goblins and you're going to come in bags. However, the best way to actually farm these is we're going to go into the game here. I'm actually inside a dungeon. You're going to be looking for the Greed Shrine in particular. So Nightmare Dungeons is by far the best way because what you're looking for is the uh, Nightmare Sigil to say extra shrines. Because the more shrines that appear, the more chances of us getting the Greed Shrine, which causes more goblins to actually spawn. So keep in mind that when you take a Greed Shrine and you're in a party, each individual person can pop this Greed Shrine. And then that way we could all get a crazy amount of goblins. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. I'm literally at the start of the dungeon here. I'm going to pop this. You're going to see how many goblins we get. And you can see all the crazy loot. So let's go ahead and pop this real quick. Um, you can see the icon above my head here. Which is just great. Let me make sure I kill everything. Keep in mind you do want to be killing stuff. I'm still leveling up my second rogue right now. Which is important here. There goes the goblin. Make sure we kill him. He drops a bunch of loot. Remember, we want to kill as many monsters as we can on this. So that way we can spawn more goblins. There goes another goblin. I, actually, I froze him straight up. Let's keep going. Alright, now the shrine has actually gone away. You can just see that the event is here. So when the goblins drop stuff, right? You can drop everything from uh, elixirs. Then you got regular gear. Uh, the malignant heart there for the uh boss materials this is a very very strong way to farm up a lot of boss materials you can see again we get a bunch of the the materials we got some potions here living steel again it's going to drop one at random but you're going to get it but more importantly it's going to spawn these little treasure bags okay so you got these treasure bags here a bag full of item power 925 treasure left behind a goblin slain keep in mind when you do this you want to have at least a level 49 sigil or higher at the minimum because that way you're going to get 925 gear do not do anything below that it shouldn't be 925 if it is it might be bugged etc but do at least a 49 or higher all the way up to level 100 and there is a difference in the bags here okay there is going to be the rare treasure bags and then there's going to be legendary treasure bags so i'm going to move along here while i'm talking about this event and see if we can find another uh another shrine which would be awesome if we got another one here i'm not the biggest fan of uh rapid fire as a whole but we got a build guide coming soon so the treasure event this really fell off before it was um it was a really good event at one point but then it just kind of had a huge drop off because the 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 rewards that you got in the bags were not super good and uh, it was it was really disappointing. Oh my god, the butcher just literally one swipe me. Yep, that's saying in the video. I got one swipe from the butcher. Holy crud! Dead end. But it appears that they definitely did a huge overhaul of the um, the treasure bags and the event as a whole. Now being able to get more than enough. Uh, goblins to spawn and get enough loot is actually really really nice and rewarding so i'm gonna see i'm gonna see really quickly if there's another one no there's just condi here i was kind of hoping that there was another greed shrine so we could 
but it doesn't look like it, so that's a bummer. Let's kill these guys, and we'll open up the uh, the chest here. You guys can see the bags. So in these loot bags, you pop them right. You're going to get a few items, which is nice, and, of course, a few forgotten souls, and then they're all 925. Again, you're going to get more resources on the surface than you will um, opening the bags, but that's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. This is a very nice event. It's an additional event, which I think is great. So if you have been farming in Season 5 and you need something else to do or some other other way to just rack up gear and, more importantly, the boss materials, then this is definitely the event for you. So uh, if we go over here again, man, it's the, the goblins are back. Um, I think this is just such a cool little event. Again, it's only for a couple days, guys, so make sure to go just farm this up as much as you can. Um, this was like kind of one of their lesser events, but I still think it was really, really cool um, to do. It's just kind of like a passive event. You could definitely just hunt this stuff down and see if... Uh... Oh, that's just an event. Okay. So what are we looking for here? And just see about getting some more gear. Like if you're doing Nightmare Dungeons like I am right now, it's still by far the best way because of all the extra um, shrines that you can spawn. And then we just destroy everything, which is fantastic. But yeah, you can get so many goblins in these events. It's kind of silly how many you can get. Um, especially if you're, you're in a party because they're all doubled. So everything is like two goblins a piece at least. And then if you're killing more and more and more monsters, it's going to give you even more goblins. Because the more goblins that you kill, the faster... Uh, that they'll spawn from the greed, the greed trying to effect. Keep that in mind. It's all about trying to kill as many goblins as you possibly can. Uh, I think I need... Oh, wrong thing. Candy. Oh, nice. We got a nice little piece here. Some pants. Very lovely. Again, you could also go over to the hell tides. The hell tides are a very great place to farm this stuff. It is very, very cool. Um, it's, it's a very nice event. It's just something to add a little extra to each season. I really do hope that the, de the developers and devs will do this. I'm um, going through each season now that the game is kind of becoming, you know, a... I guess we're getting to a point where there's enough stuff to do in a way. And we can really just have... Ooh, oh my god, what a chess piece. Uh, we can really just have some fun with the, with the game. And just have something to do. Like a mid-season event would be really, really sweet. So, guys, let me know down in the comments what do you guys uh, think and feel about mid-season events. And what they could possibly do on top of the seasonal themes. Which I think would be really cool. But, with all that said, the Goblin event is back. Again, you can find them absolutely everywhere in the open world. You can find them, uh, you know, doing regular dungeons. But Nightmare Dungeons is by far the best place. Make sure to do it in a party so you can maximize the amount of goblins that you get so guys like the video let's get this over 50 likes again comment below let me know what you guys think about the event and, and adding these in every each and every single season don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace